Dive, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Yes, thank you for joining us again for this episode or this podcast or this, whatever we're calling this, live stream of Talk Dive Live. My name is Ross. Linky's somewhere in the house, so I'm sure we're going to see him or her. Uh, and I've got two wonderful men, uh, people joining us today. Uh, we've got our lovable, hubble, hug, huggable David. Hi, hey, everybody. David. Good to see you guys again. Thanks for joining us. And we have someone from our very own conservation team and a fine instructor herself, Maddie. Maddie is is not able to they speak right sound. now. But you know, this is why we go live. I know, millennials. <laughs> That's okay. She's a yeah, she can, she, anymore, <laughs> right. <laughs> this is why we go live, ladies and gentlemen, because you never know what's going to happen. She's going to she will be with us soon, but today we're going to we're going to keep the camera on her because she's turning about as red as the rainbow reef sign. <laughs> But today we're going to be talking. <laughs> She's absolutely <laughs> glowing. <laughs> it's there somewhere. We know it is. But uh, we want to thank any and all of you who joined us for the tent sale on Saturday last. It was definitely intense, even though it was tentless. We had a wonderful time, myself and Orlando. Um, we actually had to take a bit of a siesta on Monday. Thank you for joining us today uh, because we were just downright pooped. That's poophead. We were tired, um, but we're back again today. Uh, we hope that you will let us know where you're signing in from today. We have so many wonderful uh, comments. We have questions. We have people that are signing in from all over the place, all over the world, really. Uh, and as a matter of fact, one of the things that we're going to be doing today is addressing some of those very questions that you have been sending in, because that's what we want to do. We want to talk about scuba stacks, scuba stacks. <laughs> Right. We want to talk about diving because we're not there yet. We're almost there. We're thinking that the keys are still due to open around June 1st, which means we are actually booking dive trips for the middle of June. We're starting classes towards the middle of June. We're starting IDCs towards the middle of June. Several of you I've actually been talking to you about. So if you've got a question, ask us. We're here to help. We want to hear what your questions are. We want to hear what your topics are. If you want to even send us a photo, as a matter of fact, we've also got a caption this photo. We'd like to hear what you've captioned. Uh, it's it's right there. Yes, it is. Um, it could be one of those hefty, 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 whippy, whippy, whippy. I don't know. That's the first commercial that came to mind when I saw it. But think about it. Let us know. If you're just signing in, let us know where you're signing in from. We would love to hear from you. So in the meantime, our panelists today are again, the lovable and huggable David and the muted Maddie. We're hoping that she is able to speak once again. Hello, Maddie. Oh, almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> she has us on the tips of our Was hey, Gary. Alaska. Hey, Gary. Alaska. Hey, Gary. Good to see you, man. Well, so let's start this off while Maddie looks again at her settings. You know, we, we, it's one of those things that the producer is actually in one city and we're in another. So we're we're flying by the seat of our pants here. Larry, how you doing there? Oh, how's Palm Coast? Um, so, David, let's go to you. What's one of the first questions that you've gotten from uh, some of our guests? Yeah, so uh, we've come back and looked at your questions that maybe we didn't get to uh, on the day of the show. This is an interesting one. I don't know about this. I hope that uh, you do, Ross. This is from Randy Preston. And he said that he read that the United Arab Emirates made a $3.5 million donation to Key Largo for coral reef restoration. And he's wondering if you have information about that and how that is going to work. Anything? Um, oh, oh yes, <laughs> Maddie, what a perfect time to chime yes. in. <laughs> We've yeah, got it, Maddie. Turn it off. Yeah, turn it off and turn it back on, but it's working now. Well, there you go. You know what? Those IT people get paid. They get paid. Thank you very much. They get paid thousands of dollars, and all they ever do really is come in and restart the computer or turn it on and turn it off. So 
Maddie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, it's it's Maddie's first time on the show. We're very, very happy to have her. Uh, and like I said, she is an integral part of the conservation team. So tell us a little about yourself. Yeah. Um, so I'm originally from New York, and I moved to the Keys in 2018. Um, I did my DM, IDC, and MSDT, and then ROC through Rainbow Reef, and then stuck around because I liked it so much, um, and I've been here ever since. And since then, I've been working um, as an instructor um, and also on the conservation team to help with different aspects of Rainbow Reef and different things in regards to what makes it um, special and a really incredible place to work. Wow, fantastic. So there you go. Yeah. Um, we've actually had a couple shows that we've talked about our Dive Master program and our IDC and the MSDT uh, and the resort operations. So here you go. Here's living proof that you can actually get through it. <laughs> First yeah. of all, <laughs> all at once, too, back to back. Yep, Enjoy it. it. <laughs> exactly. And um, and actually, you know, make a living doing it. So if it, again, if it's one of those things in the back of your mind, you know, maybe it's a good time to become an instructor. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it is. Give us a call. You know that we're here to help you. But today we are talking about conservation. And David had a very good question. I'm not sure if you heard it, Maddie. Um, I uh, my teleprompter must have gone out because I've already um, I don't have information on this question david but it's a good one perhaps maddie does maddie did you hear the question i was logged out at that point i'm sorry uh -huh. no it. that's okay <laughs> so basically uh one of our viewers uh randy fresson said that he read that the united arab emirates have donated 3.5 million dollars to key largo for coral reef restoration and he's wondering if we know anything about that uh what the status is or how that's working do you have you heard anything about that I haven't heard something about that um, specifically, but in regards to the um, in regards to CRF, if it is donated towards there, that's um, someone that we partner with and highly support. So um, if if that is the case, I definitely want to look more into it, and that's fantastic for them because they do really incredible work to help sustain our reefs around here. Absolutely. And uh, if someone out there, and if you're just logging in right now and, and signing on, please let us know where you're signing on from. Say a little hi to us or whatever. Uh, we're talking about some questions that, that we have brought out from the field. Hey there, Bob. Always good to see you. Um, we uh, About the field and also questions. And we're going to be talking about conservation. So if anyone knows the conservational question that David was just mentioning, please, by all means, let us know. Now, Maddie, you said something about the CRF and the fact that we partner with CRF as well. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about those dives that we do in order to help that Coral Reef um, Foundation? Yeah, so we partner with CRF um, specifically to help them in their nurseries and then also out planting coral. They do really, really incredible work for sustaining the reefs here in Florida, um, specifically targeting elkhorn and staghorn coral, where um, it's a morning session. The certification we help them with is a morning session at uh, the Coral Restoration Foundation building, where you get to learn about the different changes in the reef throughout the years. You get to learn about um, the issues that we're facing and how we can help. Then you also get to learn in the classroom about how to help in their nursery with cleaning and preserving that coral that they're growing. Then we take the coral if the conditions are good out on the boats and then we replant it and reintroduce it to the reef. Uh, and this is pretty incredible because then they track the growth over the years and you can see um, the coral that you actually helped harvest from the nursery and planted back out on the reef make a big difference and start forming ecosystems for the organisms there that need it. 
Wow, that's pretty magnificent. Uh, and such an amazing program. To be able to be part of that uh, as a diver, it, it's just so rewarding. And to be able to offer that to our, to people that come and dive with us as well, I mean, it's that's that's the true essence of don't just count your dives, make your dives count. Uh, you're you're giving back to the ocean. You're doing something. So that's that's wonderful to hear. Um, if if anyone would like more information about those dives specifically, please let us know. Write in. Let us know where you're writing from. Obviously, oh, we've got one from Maryland. Um, but let us know where you're writing from. But if you're interested in these CRF dives and and learning about the different coral, um, you know, some of the the uh, the coral is just gorgeous, and to be able to be part of regrowing coral is magnificent. Thank you, Maddie. Um, David, sir, do we have another question perhaps that we can go over? Yes, actually, there's one that's a perfect follow-up to this. Uh, Ooh, it's very specifically I like perfect. related. There's no such thing as yes. perfect. But yes, so, it, I like well, excellent. Well, wait till you hear excellent. this one. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay, sounds good. This is from Michael Anderson, and he has asked, I think I know the very sad answer to this, but how hard has it been to maintain the coral nurseries during this COVID-19 uh, shutdown? Mm. Maddie, uh, do you have any the information? Has the Coral Reef Foundation been that? able to do anything? Yeah, so um, in regards to their work, um, you know, they've been very cautious of what's going on in the world currently and abiding to that. I know that they're taking every precaution to make sure that their employees are safe um, and well and healthy while also trying to do their, I know that they're providing a lot of at home work for their employees, um, a lot of online work with data crunching. And then I think they're also making sure to quarantine their employees before actually getting them physically out on the boats to do more outplanting. But I know that um, they all work very hard over there and they're trying to do what they can to make sure that the coral is staying intact and still getting the job done. Um, I also know that they have Coral Palooza coming up in the future where normally that's a huge out planning opportunity for them and a lot of other people. But this year they're actually doing it online um, as a result of what's going on in the world. So they have links up on their website right now where you can submit videos um, talking about yourself, little 10 second videos and what you love about coral reefs to help support them. So if you guys have the time, please go do that. I know that they would definitely appreciate it. Absolutely. Yes. Our friends at CRF are doing an amazing job trying to maintain at the very least, keep things moving uh, while at the same time keeping everything safe. That's wonderful. And and yes, the, the here uh, at Rainbow, the the conservation team has been staying up to date with uh, CRF, with the people to make sure that we are also ready to go um, when our doors or our our dive platforms are ready to take the giant stride back off of um, so that, that it can hopefully seamlessly come about. And we can see also, we'd like to see what's happening in those reefs. We'd like to see if there was any kind of a change. Who knows? Um, if you're just signing in, please say hi. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, today, we're talking about conservation. We're talking about um, actually getting to some questions that you yourself have been putting out there so that we can address some of the things that you are are curious about because we've just been talking about diving because we're here for the scuba snacks, right? Uh, it's, it can, bet you can't dip, dip just once. No, because you can double dip, you can triple dip. So um, we're talking about conservation. Maddie is is one of our newest panelists, uh, and she's got all kinds of information uh, on that conservation. As a matter of fact, she just mentioned the Coral Palooza. Uh, we are actually doing a project here at Project Aware to get all of our employees to do something, to do one of those 10 second little clips on why we like coral so much. So if we put that site out for you, maybe you can do the same thing. Let, let them know. Feel the love. Share the love. If you like this, share it. You know, because again, everything that's underwater is alive until you touch it. So the more that we know about it, the less likely we are to actually try and touch it in the first place. Right. Um, and we, we know that the peak performance buoyancy is definitely the way to do that. So we want to get people ready and able to dive and to get right in as soon as these doors open. Um, David, sir, do we have another question? Yeah, this is a lovely question, actually, from Ashley McCarthy. Oh. Um, yeah. 
how difficult is it to start your own dive against debris dive? Ooh, I love the. You know what? It it's like the producer himself had called her and asked this. This is fantastic, uh, Maddie.、Yeah. Would you like to take it away with it? Yeah, of course.、Um, so there's a lot that goes into a dive against debris,、um, and it depends on where you're collecting debris from.、Um, there's a lot of regulations involving it. Uh, here specifically, we need permits、uh, allowing us to pick debris off of the floor, allowing us to touch things within the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. So, because of that, we partner with people like NOAA and Blue Star that allow us to actually、uh, do this kind of work safely and permitted. In regards to people wanting to start their own dive against debris, I would suggest reaching out to those platforms.、Um, depending on where you are in the world, it's really dependent. You need certain permits、uh, to do things certain places. In regards to you personally doing dive against debris, the best way to start is, I would say, Project Aware has an app where you can document any debris that you find and collect personally. And you can say where you got it, give information about what it is, and that helps them in their system gain data、um, to further studies in marine debris, and that helps everybody all over the globe learn more about the different debris that is in the ocean and how to prevent that in the future.、Uh, it's really easy to go on. You can download the Project Aware app and put in your information, and anyone from anywhere can. Utilize that app to log different debris,、um, and I'm sure that Ross too has plenty of more information in regards to the app and different ways that you personally can get more involved in removing ocean debris. Thank you, Maddie. Yes, absolutely. It it is actually simpler than it looks. Um, as a matter of fact, the website that Maddie was discussing or talking about is www.projectaware.org, right? O R G,、uh, and that is where you'll find all of those kits, so to speak.、Um, go ahead, make make yourself a My Oceans account and look around there. It's free to do so.、Um, we all are, as a matter of fact,、um, Rainbow Reef is a hundred percent aware facility because we donate to.、Uh, For Project Aware,、uh, directly because、uh, Project Aware is a 501c corp,、um, so it is a non-for-profit, and there are wonderful, wonderful、uh, agency that works in tandem with Patty, but it's not Patty. It really is the non-for-profit.、Uh, so you can start fundraising. You can start. We we have donations、um, that we can do even with when you check out, when you sign up for certain classes,、um, and the other wonderful thing is. You can take the dive against debris as part of your advanced course. As a matter of、yeah. fact, there you go. I knew we'd see Linky <laughs> showing up sometime. So Linky was telling me that because dive against debris is a one dive specialty, well, that means that during your advanced course you have to do the dive, the the deep dive, and the navigation dive, and then you have a choice of three different adventure dives. Well. We actually have a package where you can do your advanced course and your dive against debris course with no extra dives. All it is is a donation to Project Aware,、uh, and the price of and and the other prices for the course. So you can actually link that, right? Yes, and that way again you're making a difference while even just taking a course. And that's what we want to do because we want to go back to our our oceans and we want to dive, don't we, Leaky? Have you been diving lately? Have you been very good about the corona? Good for you. Nice, David. I think we've got one. We've got time for one more question,、uh, and because you know, you know me, I'm jonesing to get into the scuba snacks part of this. You know, but let's let's do one more question. Yeah,、uh, this is an interesting one too.、Um, down here in Caribbean, around the Caribbean, of course. So,、uh, from Emma Elizabeth, hi all. I have a question about lionfish. I know they are invasive in a lot of places in the Caribbean. Spearfishing for them is permitted. Can you spearfish lionfish in the Florida Keys 
And if so, does your shop participate? That's a very interesting question. And yes,、uh, Maddie and the conservational team has been on this. Maddie, would you like to address this question? Sure, definitely. So, there's、um, a certain amount of places around the world where you can spear lionfish. However, the permits do vary, which is important to remember.、Um, the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuaries came to Rainbow Reef and did a specific seminar、um, to give specific people permits to spear within the spa zones, the, the sanctuary preservation areas within the Florida Keys. However, if you have a permit to spear, let's say somewhere in the Bahamas, that does not necessarily transfer to somewhere in Rainbow Reef where we're diving in the Florida Keys.、Um, there's a lot of regulations behind it because they are protected areas that we are diving in, right? So within those protected areas, you are only allowed to spear if you have the specific permit from them, or if you take a class with Reef, then you're allowed to catch them with slurp guns and. Um, dispose of them in humane ways, but you are not permitted to spear unless you have the specific permit through the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. Excellent, excellent information. And that's very pertinent、uh, to anyone out there that is looking to spear. It, we understand that it's for a good cause,、uh, but we do need to do it within the regulations of the spa. Of course, all this time I thought that when I was going to the spa, it was just to do my nails, but now I know what <laughs> spa actually stands for.、Um, and, <laughs> We actually we, we got a little shout out from, from our very own Mr. Jack Fishman, who、uh, we actually had on one of our shows not that long ago,、uh, talking about Project w a r e and conservation. So, yes, thank you. Thank you for saying hey, Jack. And、uh, Wahoo, you know, in German, that's Wahoo. So, I would like to go to my favorite portion. We've, we've just been talking, but if you're just logging into us now,、um, thank you very much. And please let us know from whence you're logging in.、Um, let us know where you are.、Um, don't forget, we do have the caption this photo to win a free dive trip. We, I think, gave away about 30 free dive trips last Saturday、uh, on our tent sale.、Uh, so we're, we're doing it again because we want to get people diving. So caption this photo. We want to hear from you. Go ahead, log in, let us see it. You can private message, you can do it if you think it's going to be silly,、um, uh, and any and all of the above.、Uh, but we want to hear what your caption is. And you'll win a free dive trip. The other thing is, don't forget, we've got another tent sale. And it, because there is no tent, because we're in the store, as long as you don't tell DJ, we're going to have some super, super deals again. So please let us know. We had a great time.、Uh, we had our spin to win.、Um, we, had our, we had our very own Orlando, who's so popular, they actually had to name an entire city after him. So,、uh, yeah, please join us for that. We've got another one of these coming up on Friday, but、um, we need to hear from you. Share these posts, like these posts if you like them,、uh, and let us know. So, we have now come to the point、uh, of. Getting to the scuba snacks, not just talking about different things underwater, but actual dive sites or really cool critters that we've seen. David, I'm sure, has been just absolutely biting his nails trying to figure out what he's going to talk about today because, you know, this, this is you know, the gauntlet's thrown, man. You had some really good ones lately. So, what have you got for us today, David? All right. So, what I have today is、uh, one of my favorite things to do. We've talked so much about peak performance buoyancy. We've also talked a little bit about shark divers versus yoga divers. I'm a very much a yoga diver.、Uh, so, what I like to do is to utilize my peak performance buoyancy skills. And if I'm on a dive site like Aquarium or Snapper Ledge or the Benwood, where there's massive, massive schools of fish, is I'll just come in really slowly. And just join the school, and the fish will just be all around me. They don't care at all. That's what peak performance buoyancy allows you to do. And it's pretty wild to actually be part of a school of、uh, snappers and grunts. So,、uh, if you've been diving,、uh, if I've been your guide、uh, on any of those dive sites, you've probably seen me do that once or twice. Excellent. Yes, that is a lot of fun, especially with the French grunts because they grunt like this.、Yep. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so, uh, Maddie, how about yourself? Uh, give, give us a scuba snack. Um, I think kind of going off what David said, one of my favorite things when I'm diving, uh, specifically in regards to peak performance buoyancy, is being able to get at that super perfect buoyancy where you can take a breath in and you start to come up a little bit, and then you let a breath out and you start to come back down a little bit. And I use that when I want to peer under ledges looking for nurse sharks, eels, and lobster. So if I'm guiding a group of divers and I'm looking for those kind of bigger critters, I'll let a breath out when my peak performance buoyancy is perfect and I'll be able to just kind of start sinking down a little bit where I can peer up under that edge and look for those fun things to show my divers. So that's something that I really enjoy. Absolutely, yes. Just cannot say enough about dialing in that buoyancy. Uh, if you haven't done so already, or if you haven't heard us say it yet, uh, we've all been talking about peak performance buoyancy this entire time. You can link it to absolutely everything. Um, you mentioned lionfish, so Linky ran away. Uh, so, but otherwise, Linky <laughs> would definitely talk about uh, being able to link it to the open water course, to the advanced course. You can take it by itself, um, but just being able to do that and becoming more more part of that underwater world is what basically David and Maddie were talking about. It is amazing feeling when they just sort of split and go around you like this. It's so cool. Um, and it's one of the reasons why we go underwater is, is to, to just be enveloped because we are surrounded by the water. Um, so if you're just joining us um, this afternoon, uh, we've been talking about conservation. We've been trying to um, uh, answer some questions that we've gotten. We got stumped with one question about a large uh, donation to the Coral Reef Foundation. So if you have any information on that, we'd love to hear from you. We'd like to hear from you anyway. Um, we'd like to know where you're calling in from or, or signing in from rather. And if you've got any questions, please let us know. Also topics that we might uh, talk about. Uh, if you've got some ideas from topics, for instance, today it was more conservationally minded. Uh, Maddie is here as as one of the uh, lead liaisons and and um, founders or one of the uh, of our conservational team because we have very many things that we are conservationally minded of here at Rainbow Reef and we've got projects that we hope to be able to share with other dive centers um, that we have been trying out. Um, so thank you very much. Oh, wait, what, uh, this, this just in deep, 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 we, we have a winner. We have somebody who has won a free dive trip for the captioning of this photo. And let's find out who the winner is. It is going to get it. Let's see. Anne Marie Newman says zoom conference starts in 30 minutes. Put some proper fins on. You never know who's watching. Oh, I like it. <laughs> That's a great one. Well, Anne Marie, you you've pulled out the plugs for us. Thank you very much. You have won a free dive trip. So yes, we're we're starting to book for mid June. Uh, we will uh, if you'll actually let us know where you are, and we'll try and contact you as well so that we can get some details on that free dive trip. Did we say free dive trip? Yes. Did we say that we've got more free dive trips? Yes, we do because we're going live with the tent sale, the intense tentless sale again on Saturday from two p.m. to uh oh dj found out he found out okay so don't let him hear this somebody cover his ears we've got some amazing deals that are still going to happen on saturday between two and four um we'll 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 see what we can do <laughs> orlando is hidden somewhere as a matter of fact i think orlando just recently uh, just finally actually woke up but um, yes, we are going to have another tent sale between two and four. Just don't tell DJ. Um, this whole Facebook thing, it's like, you know, whatever happens in Key Largo stays on Facebook. Huh. So again, thank you for joining us today. We have had our huggable David and our lovely new addition, Maddie from the conservation team and fine instructors, both of them. Um, so from for now, I'd like to say thank you. Dive, dive, dive. Those are the words we want to hear. And... Stay Thanks safe, everybody. folks. See you on Friday. I love this Bye, music. Guys. It makes me do this.
I know. <laughs> <laughs>